This is a full character guide rigging series. This is not the part 1 video. If you have not watched the previous parts, please check this video description. Now, we, you don't have to worry about drawing much in Illustrator because almost anything can be fixed using smart actions in Moho. So don't worry about most of these things. For the arm, let's just create a box and I'm also going to rotate it. I'm going to place it right here and then pull it up and maybe I will end it from there, end it there. And so as for the other side, let's do this. But before that, I'm just going to delete because I want, what I want is these two to be less smaller okay, than the top one to get that look of a proper arm. I'll rotate it and then I'll put it to the other side as well and we can just keep it straight. Keep it straight. I don't rotate. We can rotate it in Moho but now we are not going to do the rotation. And if you want you can just select this and make it a little bit bigger too to fill that. Okay the height and all I'm not really sure. I will fix it later. Now we have to create that neck. So Get that brush tool and create a huge circle like this. I messed it here so let me do it again. So I'm just doing this, going around and finally letting it go there. And that's not bad but I feel like it should be more rounded. So I can select it, right click on it and press simplify and try with this to see if I can make it more rounded. Yeah, that's not bad. And Or I can take this, select these points and do something else with it. Yeah, I want a flat look here. With All right, that's enough. Here it's fine, I guess. Maybe here too you can make it more round. Don't worry, the top won't be visible at all. So let's not worry about it. Now for the head, you can create a circle like this. See, a shape like this. So we will take that tool and this is going to be a bit difficult. I'm also thinking I want to increase that smoothness a lot so i'll just increase it and press ok and then start to create the head maybe i'm making a mistake did i bad not bad yeah it's not that bad so i'll only fix it here this part i'll just put it there. now if you want to close these two you can select them or put them on top of each other select them and press ctrl j and once you press ctrl j they are Closed. As you can see now I can just move they are closed because I press ctrl J and here it's not smooth so I'll take the smooth tool and click like that to create that smooth look. Okay, for the hair as you can see since this is generated by AI this hair is weird and the problem that's the problem. So what we will do is we will imagine by ourselves I'm doing a very bad job at this I think but I'll just keep on drawing drawing and I can just maybe do that and go around and finish it off like that yeah this is not bad at all okay i think i like it maybe here it should be much more rounded so get that pencil tool again or the brush tool and start from here just putting it at the little bit top like that yeah this is fine yeah for this uh, uh it's not working so i'll get the pencil tool itself to do this yeah that's that's much better maybe here i can make it go like that Okay, here it's a bit messy so I'll come from the other side and do that. I'm not sure if I fixed it correctly because all of this image, image in the background is disturbing. I'll come back to it later and do the fixing later. Now let's focus on the ear. It's, you just draw the ear like that. Whatever you draw, try to draw it fully for an example. Don't do this. So the hair is getting cut. I mean the ear is getting cut for the hair. It's okay, you just draw a full ear. What you think is the full ear, draw and finish it off that full full ear. And then give that line, okay? Because when we do the head turn and all, it's going to be a lot easier that way. All you can do is take the hair on top. That fixes the problem too. And, and I'm also thinking if I can duplicate the same thing to the other side, that will help too, just like that. And finally, you just trace that eyes okay and put it to the other side as well and i'm just going to trace the nose this type of nose is very easy to do the animation so i like it something like that is good so the mouth also is very simple luckily but we have to of course create many versions of the mouth to create that lip sync let's do that later but for now this is enough i'm not going to draw the hair below here that's no need now let's unlock that and let's keep it to a side and now it's time to apply the color okay now for the skin, this one, the ear, that ear, all of the skin you select including the neck and press that eyedropper tool and add that white. Okay, now I have just added white. If I move out you will realize I have added white. 
and for the hair we will just add that black so i'll select that ear and send it to the back so as this ear yeah i'll send it to the back and we will decide if we want to connect it like this later but for now i'm thinking i will also convert this this and this to be that yellow color and these two should go to the back like that and these two should go to the back too just like that and this one should have blue and see if it's tall enough see if he is tall enough i think i will make him a bit more taller and then make it more straight this leg more straight and put it and i'm also thinking if i take a copy before that yeah if we take a copy so if i flip this and when i put it together see this is a problem because this is a lot wider only if we stretch the legs you can get a proper look but that's a problem so what we will do is we will do like this select that do like that and and we want this to move down okay the v part here okay this should be more down so you do it until that comes to the correct place do it a little bit to that do it a little bit to this and i think this is this is fine right yeah don't do it too much yeah no okay no even though it looks weird now okay right when i duplicate it is not that cool but here also the same thing it's okay fine it doesn't have to come down i think this is fine and this leg seems to be a little bit taller i think maybe you can make it shorter on my original one how about it yeah it's a lot i, f I feel like it's a lot lot taller like compared to the arms no i think this is fine i just made it a little bit tall and then let's fix the shoe but before that this has to go a little bit down remember it has to go a little bit down like that and this maybe like that so trying to place the shoe and see if it looks okay not bad at all now duplicate that put it a little bit down and i'm also going to rotate it a bit i guess like that and it goes a little bit down i think this is not bad okay yeah not bad at all now for these two it doesn't have the same outline thickness so i'll give the same outline thickness as well so you can if you look at this this one's outline thickness is one that one i'll just it's more than one but why it's not big not bigger that is because that's a different type of a stroke compared to this this is a brush stroke that is a shape stroke so on a situation like this you will have to select everything okay and then see the eyes is also selected i don't like the eye because that's the only one and only fill shape right everything else is a stroke including the hair so i'll select all the strokes and go here and maybe change it to that first and then come back to this again now you will see the even stroke has been applied to everything that's good because now everything looks even so if you face this problem you this is how you fix it so look at this i have decided to put the hair up a lot it's it's a design choice nothing else maybe you can put one more up or you can completely do this some, something like that and i think how he is now is not bad at all right here it's a lot round here it's a lot flat but let's think of it like a design choice and let's leave it like that and we need two hairs like this to the other side so you can just draw them so let's get that outline and draw one here and then the one here because we are going to animate it so let it be a stroke so here as you can see near the shoulder right right here there is this line okay we are not going to hide that line because we are going to use a moho to do that because using moho i can uh, remove that edge easily so i'll use moho to remove that line stroke line that i'm talking about the final thing that is left is the hand so this one i didn't draw okay i don't even remember how i did this i did this i drew this long time back i think almost one week ago i did this i usually don't draw hands instead i copy them so what i usually do is i go to google and search for hands of other characters and then i easily trace so for you you don't have to google because now you can take a screenshot of this and you can start tracing this so i'm not going to trace and wait because i have already done it but you're going to trace it All right let's give that same amount of stroke thickness and remember you will have to select everything and do again or one more thing select these two and these two and press this and that and that fixes it that's cool now i'm just going to rotate this put it here and this one also just like that and and see if it looks good maybe we can rotate it a bit and keep it everything straight so we can rotate them later i think that's more straight this one is not and i'm going to 
keep like this okay now you just have to do some testing such as let's say just get that press that r and keep here and then rotate and see how it goes and as you can see here it's a bit odd and weird because of that break so what we can do is select these two hide for a while and then select these two select these two points and the other points this one i'm just going to click drag and create it a full round so as this one maybe it doesn't have to be a full round yeah i think full round is a problem because now you get something like this so you'll have to move this lot more up and now when you rotate and yeah it's not that bad also if this also a full round that will be helpful so re remove that opacity down and then put it a little bit more up and see if you can make this a completely stuck circle or something right for the other side as well i'm just going to put that opacity down and do something like this put way too up so when i do that rotation it is going to help me so when i put that up here and this one see it's much better yeah that's good and one more thing while the opacity is reduced you need to create a guide point here so that you can exactly place the bone on top of this point so better to start this on that on the software itself so i'm just going to take that guide circle and i'm going to make sure it is red color or something and then now it's all about it's up to you to move it here and there to, to find the exact center and place it so i'm thinking somewhere here might be the center so i'm just going to place it there oh another option is that while you while you select this and when you press a to get the direct selection tool you will see a point a circle that is mostly where this is supposed to go but since the other one is not a proper circle that's another problem anyway let's put it up now maybe i can put this little more up also to fix this even more yeah i think now when we do that rotation it will be much better see just perfect right it is not noticeable see here also i'm talking about this curve see it's just so perfect and when i do other way around and see here a little bit getting cut coming out all of this nothing to worry not visible right not dust drastically visible so that's how i find that point and now let's do the same thing for the side as well okay let this be tiny maybe it can be not so tiny maybe a little bit more bigger yeah something like that is fine fine now on the other side as well select this first i'll bring that point to this side okay now what you can do is select this one press a see if they are aligning no so again select that a moving it here selecting this and pressing a moving it a little bit down and then and that's okay that's okay i'm happy with that result and now move this up a little bit until you feel like this is a proper circle and not only that you will have to do the testing you will have to you know do this and see do that and see if it breaks anything no right it just rotates properly so i'm going to fix it with it also this one has increased the opacity back so as a guide we need that point this point and see how i have guessed where the elbow is going to be and i have drawn a line okay so you just have to imagine like see the whole body and get that pencil tool or brush tool and you just think if he bends where will his elbow be it's going to be somewhere here right will he will it be here no it will be somewhere here also here it is it's going to be there too so it's close as a guideline you can keep i think i am going to just guess okay so just guessing 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 maybe here would be fine on this side here would be fine so two lines so i'm just selecting them and i'm just converting them to red line as my guideline and here too so for the knee i'm thinking you just have to imagine this is not possible just you just have to imagine like that if he bends that should be okay maybe a little bit more down there and here also somewhere like this would be fine yeah just just think of it and do it now keep in mind this is just a cartoon character so nothing to worry about now you just have to select the whole head without the neck and then just rotate and see how it goes see not bad not bad i can do this i can do that and even if i do 360 it will be okay but uh, we don't do 360 you got the idea but the whole thing right now you can do like this that's not bad and this is bit incorrect because the neck doesn't really move like that because if it moves like this here it makes just 
doesn't make any sense so but still that's totally fine since this is a cartoon character we don't have to fix it now if you're wondering what we can do for these we can easily fix them with the hide edge tool so don't worry about that stroke okay so from here you can decide what what which type of binding you're going to do i'm going to do point binding because i really really like point binding that's really awesome and but if but Point binding you need to do a little bit of work but let's say you are doing bind layer technique. If you are doing bind layer technique that means you have to you have to divide the forearm and the arm. Both of these two should be divided. That means the shoulder and this arm should be together and the forearm should be alone. The hand should be alone. This is good for the normal binding, the bind layer technique. So in this case, let me do and show you. So here you will have to create a huge line where you are going to cut it. Okay, maybe let's say I'm going to cut it from there. Select these two and just separate them into two separate parts. Okay, now you don't need this. And also you have to do some extra bit of work such as selecting these points and putting it down maybe down here so that when you rotate them these two points should stay there so i'll have to take them more down and now i did i say rotate i i, I meant to do this if i curve them okay this is fine so i'll select the other one do the same thing for the other one and i will have to pull it a lot more up so when i do this their points should align properly so maybe a little bit okay now all you have to do is just fix them select all of these points and do that and do this and at this point it's all up to you but now as you can see if you want to select these two and to make that rotation it's very easy to do that rotation now see you can do this also very interesting and and let's say this these two right is together should be together as one layer and this one should be another layer and this is another layer so this this is helpful if you are doing the bind layer technique but i'm not going to do the bind layer technique i prefer the point binding and the same thing with for the legs if you are doing that bind layer and they, you should of course divide them and do the same thing so you will be able to rotate them so this this part should be like this and the other part should be like this so here it creates a circle and put that guide circle on the center therefore when you rotate it is going to rotate in a correct way but of course you have to do very less work if you are doing bind layer technique but the problem is sometimes it is not that realistic that's the reason why i prefer point binding but if you are so obvious about your work here in illustrator then of course go for that point binding especially for cartoon characters it's not going to become that much of a problem so of course when you select the whole thing all of this and when you just rotate it to be like this okay and if i put it to the top if it's looking weird right here and all you can always fix this later now all of these here this part if you need to create some dynamics to it that means all of this should be on separate layers but i'm going to leave it like this because let's do the same thing in moho it's easy there as well but these two can be on a separate layer inside illustrator itself now for the year this is up to you some people prefer this but usually better to put this to the top so taking these two to the top and the entire hair to the top as well and we will have to hide this properly so we will have to create that hide edge to hide this part just like here here i have just drawn it but for you you can use the hide edge tool in moho itself if you have not liked this video please spend few seconds and subscribe to the channel as well to watch the next video click here and once again don't forget to subscribe